Terraform enables you to safely and predictably create, change, and improve production infrastructure. It is an open source tool that codifies APIs into declarative configuration files that can be shared amongst team members, treated as code, edited, reviewed, and versioned. It is cloud agnostic. In order to demonstrate how to use Terraform to deploy MongoDB instances to Oracle Cloud infrastructure, we plan to deploy four subnets, of which two are public and two are private. One of the public subnets is used to deploy your application servers that interact with MongoDB. The other public subnet is used as a bastion subnet to provide administrative access for MongoDB. MongoDB instances are deployed across two private subnets which reside on two different availability domains. Each of these subnets are guarded by its security list, which allows only permitted access both inbound and outbound. An Internet Gateway will be created to provide public Internet access. Public subnet equals 10.0.0.0.24-29 the applications in the public subnet only listen on ports 80 and 443. Your MongoDB is replicated across two availability domains, one private subnet per AD. Private subnet in AD1 equals 10.0.0.0.0/29. For example, private subnet in AD2 equals 10.0.0. Dot eight slash two nine. MongoDB is listening on the default port of two seven zero one seven. The security list acts as a firewall to protect network access to a subnet. This is an example of a security list. We can see both the ingress and egress access control lists. In order to avoid direct public access to MongoDB, we will deploy a Bastion instance in Bastion subnet to provide administrative access. This is also called Jump Server in some on-premise data center deployment terms. For the demo environment, the user needs to install Terraform Binary and Oracle Bare Metal Terraform Provider on the demo system. Then download and unpack Terraform package mongodb.zip. Before start running Terraform commands, user needs to set up a few environment variables, such as tenancy OCID, API key fingerprint, etc. Now we can switch to our bare metal console and our terminal window to conduct a live demo of Terraform deployment. Log in to your BMCS account. Go to Networks. Here you can see a MongoDB compartment. You can see that this is an empty compartment. No networks or subnets are created. We will be using MongoDB to automatically deploy the subnets and security lists. Here are the environment variables. You can see all the tenancy details like the OCID and also the user ID. Once the environment variables are set up, it is very easy to use the Terraform to kick off the deployment. The first command that we will use to kick off deployment is Terraform plan. Before you do the actual deployment, you can review your plan. This is a blueprint of what will be created for the deployment. Here you can see that we plan to add 13 objects into the system. Once you have reviewed and checked the details, it is time for the actual deployment. The command for that is Terraform Apply. You can see the subnets and the security lists. The overall deployment time will be roughly 3 to 4 minutes. Let's head to another compartment where it is already deployed. Here you can see that a MongoDB VCN is already created. Log in here and you can see the subnets that are already created.
Let me take you to another environment now to show you the MongoDB instance and the Bastion host. You can see the different hosts here. The Bastion host is here. Once this is done, you can deploy your application servers into the public subnets. You can see two MongoDB instances deployed in different subnets and also in different availability domains, AD1 and AD2. Using Terraform, you write the code once, and then it can be reused to deploy the same thing in the on-premises environment, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or any other cloud environment.